channel it's your girl diamond the blood clot <laughs> diamond the slayer and i'm back with another video so if you guys are new to my channel hey what's good what's up wild guan if you guys been here what's up my doms welcome 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 back to your girl channel all right so if you guys been here y'all know i do a lot of fun things on my channels we get into a lot of activities whatever diamond the slayer got going on in her life she brings you guys with her with also me having my own boutique and also doing unsigned critic here on, on my channel where I go over all the latest hip hop, R&B, and dance hall music. But this is something new I bring to my channel today because as you guys can see, I have this delicious meal right here in front of me. I have it's some simple shit, some corn, some potatoes, some shrimp, and some lobster. Uh, I mean, I'm lying. That's not snow crabs. <laughs> Bitch, you wish. So, as y'all can see, I'm eating right now in front of you guys. I'm having my little lunch or whatever. And I really, really wanted to do a reaction video to this whole Taylor Girls, Asian Doll, Kayla Nicole drama because it's something that kind of just snuck up on us all, all us fans at the, um, within the last, like, what, two weeks or whatever like that. And... It's very unfortunate. Some uh, friendships that I never like expected to happen, much less expected to end. And also, I noticed that a lot of people had their opinions on this situation. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to share my opinion with my doms over here on my channel. So, and I want my doms, I want you guys to leave in the comments you guys' perspective perspective on the situation if you know what's going on if you don't just keep listening to the tea okay because i don't like to gossip on my channel that's why i'm an unsigned critic i always be like yo on this segment right here on my channel we just go over the music we don't do the gossip thing when i end of that yeah i'm not stunned so i decided you know why i don't eat my little mukbang i could just do a little mukbang little gossip little chitty chitty chat with you guys a little funly vibe you know about the whole situation because this shit is getting serious when it comes to the blood clot Taylor girls like it's a lot so let's get into it all right so if you guys follow my channel y'all already know first of all this food is just some regular seafood it's not from like juicy crab or nothing like that i got this from a seafood spot up the block from my crib they food hit every time every time every time but y'all I got interested with this whole thing going on with the Taylor girls because I'm a Taylor girls fan. You understand? Like, I'm a YouTuber. I feel like once you do YouTube, you know the Taylor girls. You know, if you have a certain type of personality, you're going to run into the Taylor girls. You know what I'm saying? And I also love Asian the blood clot brat. I love Asian dolls. So, long story short, if you guys tune into my channel, you guys already know. Then I went to Ty's birthday party. Shout out to Ty. She had the littest party out here in Atlanta. I say it was the littest because this shit was free. A bitch ain't had to pay for shit. Okay. So if you guys did not see that video of me at Taylor Girl's party, check it out. Part one and part two. And this is why I wanted to react to the video too. Because I've been feeling like I be knowing stuff without even really knowing. Because I don't know these bitches. But I feel like I know these bitches. Y'all understand. Okay. So y'all know I went to Taylor Girl's party. I blocked the whole shit. Party was lit. Blah, blah, blah. We already know. But one thing I did notice was while I was filming, and I even put this in my video on YouTube, was when my girl Ty came out to perform her song, Act Right, that Act Right song, their new song or whatever like that, that hasn't even been released yet. Like this was our first time as fans hearing this record she performed act right all that and then she tried to she proceeded to try to perform bundles with kayla nicole and when ty came on the stage you know she was looking good she did her little performance when ty came on the stage she was like 
Where my girls, my best friends, um, Kayla Nicole, where you at, Kayla Nicole? Like, she kept calling for Kayla Nicole, and us in the crowd was like, yeah, waiting for Kayla to run out, you know? Nope. Crickets. Kayla never came. And it was crazy because when I edited my video, Ty was doing like this. <laughs> like, Kayla, where you at? Where you at? So when I edited my video, I put it, I was like, where's Kayla? Like, bitch, where you at? So I was, while I was assuming that, I'm going to get to that part. I was assuming Kayla never came to the party. But it was given sus to me because the way Ty was calling her out, I'm going to leave a clip right here. So you guys can see how Ty was so consistent on calling her out. So if you see the clip, you know that the way Ty was calling out Kayla Nicole is like she already, I felt like she thought Kayla was already in the building. Like, it wasn't like she thought her friend was supposed to come to the party and her friend just didn't show up. It was on some shit like, bitch, I seen you, you're here, get on the stage, or bitch, you told me you was, you was, you was out, you was here. You text me something. The way Ty was calling her, I felt like she felt like Kayla was in the building, but she didn't understand why Kayla wasn't coming on the stage. So that was a little sus to me. But then later on, once the videos hit social media, I realized that Kayla and Nicole ended up coming to the party later on that um, day because I seen it. I had ended up leaving the party early or whatever, but you guys will see that in the vlog. Watch the vlog, okay? So I bring that to say, I kind of felt like Kayla and Nicole was not being the best of a friend like if you guys know and you guys watch the Taylor girls you, i didn't know that kayla nicole and ty used to be friends and then they broke up like i didn't really know all this tea but i did know that like a month or two before ty's party she threw a whole big ass party for kayla nicole and i remember when i saw that party i was like oh shit they friends like that i was like they friends like that ty throwing this bitch a whole fucking party you feel me so that's why I was like, oh, that's her. And then I start hearing Ty calling her her best friend. I'm like, best friend? Okay. So when she ain't come on the stage, that was sus. That was definitely sus to me or whatever. So that was that. I say that to say, to start off to say, because shout out to the tea room out here on Instagram. I see they put out a poll last night. I see they put out a poll last night and the poll basically asked us, you you know, us fans, who do we, um, I'm going to leave it right here. Who do we, um, who side, who do we believe is wrong in this whole beef situation? Is it the Taylor girls? Is it Kayla Nicole or is it Asian doll? And majority of y'all said it was Taylor girls was the problem. And that really, really shocked me because. It was like 10,000 people that voted. And I voted. That's how I was able to see the percentages. And when I voted, guess who named I clicked? It was not the Tilly Girls and it was not Asian Doll. I clicked Kayla Nicole. And it was only like 4%. <laughs> only like 4% of y'all agreed with me. So I found that shady as fuck. And that's what made me want to do this video because I'm like, damn, we on different pages. Like... Everybody else feel like Taylor Girls was wrong. And then I came out, I woke up today and seen that the Taylor Girls was dropping a video on their page responding to the whole beef. You know what I'm saying? Because for all y'all that thought these bitches was scared. So the Taylor Girls responded. So I was like, oh shit, Taylor Girls dropping a video today. I want to hear what they got to say. And I just watched the video. And you know, it was basically what I thought. But let me get into it. So, yeah, Doms, like, if you guys made it this far into this video, please hit subscribe. What are you waiting for? Subscribe. I'm a badass bitch, too. Period. Subscribe to your girl, Dom. Honestly, I do a lot of shit here on this channel. My team is like one. But, yeah, so, y'all, if y'all watched that video, first of all, when I was at Top Party, y'all, like, I was so shocked to even see Asian the motherfucking brat. Like, when I went to the party, I had no clue that Asian Doll and Ty Taylor were, like, friends like that. I did see Ty show up at um, Asian Doll's uh, remix for none of that shit party. But 
to like I didn't expect to see her like at the party. Like just to say it like that. Like I really didn't. I thought I didn't know she did say so that was gonna be there, but I didn't know who. You know what I'm saying? Cause I don't really see Ty or Daisha like mingle with celebrities like that. So, you know. I didn't expect to see Asian doll. So as a fan of them both, like when I was just if you guys watched the video, you would literally see me in part two. Minding my business, just walking around. And boom, I ran into Asian doll, okay? And I was just shocked, like, whoa! It was so bad. Like, I I seen Asian doll around the same time I seen Queen Naja. But I didn't even know that was Queen Naja until I was editing my video at home, bitch. I'm at home editing my video, looking at a bitch in the back on a Campbell. I'm like, wait, that was Queen Naja and her boyfriend? Like, I had no idea when I was there standing next to them the whole fucking time. And I had no idea that was her. What? Because I was just so much on my Asian doll shit. Because I fucked with her. And Asian doll, like I said, she was she seemed cool. She had good vibes. Like, she brought the vibes to the party like I would think a real friend would do. So, and the next day when I seen... Mm, I mm, the next day, when I seen Asian doll and Ty out to eat, I'm like, okay, they cool, cool. Like, they out after the next day. And not only that, Ty had made a post like, um, niggas ain't giving her no gifts and shit. I guess referring, you know, to Kayla Cole. Like, niggas supposed to give her no gifts. And this bitch, Asian dog, cashed out and gave Ty a whole Dior, um, Dior wallet, you know, which I thought was, I'm like, damn, I need some fucking rich friends ASAP. So I thought that was really nice, you know, a nice gesture from Asian Doll. It just showed me, like, it made me feel like Asian Doll was, like, you know, the type of girl that I thought she was. And when I see her and how the, her and the Taylor girls was vibing, it just made me, like, all of them more because I felt like they were exactly who I thought they were. You know, they wasn't the type of girls where you meet them in person and you like, hey, this bitch, first of all, bitch, you ugly in person. No, these bitches look better in person. Ty, Daisha, Asian, like, them bitches look better in person. You feel me? And then, attitudes, humble, right? Humble, like, no cap. So when I met them, I was just like, my bad. I was like, oh, I could see why they hang out, why they vibe. Like, they're funny people. Like, they're real girls. You know what I'm saying? And I just respected it. So now all this shit going on, I really, I'm just like, damn, y'all even wasn't even friends for like that long for it to be going down like this, all right? Like, I ain't expected. So with involving the whole situation, when I think about it, it's like I chose Kayla Nicole to be wrong only for the simple fact that Ty, when she explained it, she kind of felt like, Kayla Nicole was always on some hating shit. You feel me? And y'all gotta admit, bitches be hating on shit. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. She Ty always felt like she be she be doing sneaky hating shit, and she kept trying to be a real friend of Kayla to show her like, bitch, I got you, bitch. I threw you a whole fucking party, and you gonna text talking about oh I ain't never felt. Ty, y'all seen the text message? Ty text Kayla was like basically why you was acting stiff at my party, and Kayla Nicole said. Oh, because we never really resolved our friendship. We never really talked about our problems. So, bitch, you came to my fucking birthday party, bitch, to have an attitude. When you could have been, if you we been rekindled our friendship, I just threw you a whole party. We could have been talked about our problems. Why the fuck you choose to come to my fucking birthday party to be screwing up your face and trying to diss me by not coming out there and performing bundles? Like... So, from that, I was just like, I believe Ty. I was like, yo, I feel like Kayla Nicole been on, she probably was on some hating ass shit. You know what I'm saying? Then, that girl shot a great, whatever her name is. I don't know her. I don't follow her. Like, I don't know. But when I seen her talking shit too and then trying to play the Taylor girls talking about, oh, if I could have split a, um, uh, if I had a split rent four ways, five ways with my family, I could get a Rolls Royce too. What type of hating ass shit is that? And if y'all as fans don't think that's hating, 
Y'all bugging. Then Ty had the fucking receipts on, on these hoes. Talking about bitches was at my crib peeking through the peephole. This bitch talking about bitch, I called you. You told me you wasn't home. You was going to be home in an hour. And uh, when when you get home, you was going to call me and let me know. Um, and I was, I was just, I was next door from your house, bitch. If she didn't call you and tell you I'm home now, come over. Why the fuck was you at her house? Peeking through her windows, talking about, oh, her mom walked through with a robe. Do y'all not know? Tell the girls and they family are really close. Who the fuck cares if her mom and dad was at the crib for three fucking months? That's their fucking family. Like you're crazy as fuck. If I get lit right now and buy a fucking mansion, I want all my family in there. Period. What the fuck? Y'all sound dumb as fuck. Haters. I don't give a fuck if they all put money together to buy that Rolls Royce, that house. Who the fuck cares? Y'all some haters. To my, oh, if I had that, I could have did that too. That was just hating shit, if you ask me. Now, this whole Asian and Thai and Taylor Dacia shit. Like I said, hit subscribe, hit subscribe, hit like, hit like. Send this to a friend, because this is some real shit I'm about to tell y'all. My homegirl, Ebony J, shout out to you, boo, if you watching this. You know what I'm saying? She a whole, she's a dancer. She's a stripper. Y'all should follow her on YouTube. She do stripper vlogs, all of that. My homegirl, Ebony J. I was just talking to her about this yesterday. I told her, because you know, when you in a certain type of industry, it's always beef. It's always drama. Us as females, we always, we say we good by ourselves, but you always want some badass bitches to be your friend. Like, I be wanting to go out and have homegirls with me that I can stand up on the couch with, get lit with, spend money with. You don't want to hang out with these broke-ass bitches, you know what I'm saying, all that shit. But anyway, you got to find the right set of crew to hang out with. You can't just be hanging out with anybody. I already told my homegirl yesterday, I, we was having a conversation, I said, I just want you to know something. Whenever you're trying to come up in life, this female shit, this friendship shit, especially when you're done with high school, done with middle school, all of that. You cannot be best friends Click, click, cluck, cluck with a bitch that's trying to do the same exact shit that you're trying to do. It's not going to work. It's sad because as female, we supposed to be supporting each other, you know, looking out for each other and all this shit. But for some reason, that shit is not going to work. You need to find friends that are interested, in, of course, in the same thing that you're interested in. Is that just as ambition as you pushes you to do better, you know what I'm saying, all the time. And you supposed to give your friend that same energy, vice versa. But as far as, oh, I'm trying to be a stripper, the biggest, baddest stripper in the club. And my best friend, she trying to be that too. That's not going to work. Or oh, I'm trying to be um, a cheerleader dancing for one of the biggest football teams in America. And my best friend trying to do the same thing. Y'all ain't going to be best friends for long. Or you trying to be a rapper. And your homegirl trying to be a rapper too. It's not going to work. Because females, we crazy as fuck. We watch a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? And especially when you're a certain sign, you wear your emotions on your sleeve. So it's like, you could try your hardest not to hate on the bitch or not to watch the bitch. But if the bitch is doing the same shit that you want to fucking do... And they're doing it better than you, bigger than you, faster than you. What do you think naturally is going to happen to you? If you're the girl in first place that's doing better than your friend, what you think is going to naturally happen? Nigga, hate is going to come. It's like either one friend got to fall back and be like, boo, I'm going to just help you be lit. Hey, is going to come. Y'all not going to be able to keep that same bond. And I say that because the situation between Ty and Asian Doll at the studio with Future, like, come on, it's fucking Future. I'm not shocked that Asian felt the way. I'm not shocked that Ty is confused. Like, she don't understand what the fuck she did wrong. I'm not, it's, I'm not shocked about that. You know what I'm saying? Asian... Was on the phone with her, her fans, I guess, whatever. And she said what she said. 
because obviously that's how she felt at the moment. Like, damn, we're here because of me. Ty said it in her video just now. Basically, you know, it was Asian dolls people that made the link for y'all to even know where the studio was at to go to the studio. So, yes, it was for everybody. Yes, everybody was playing music. But Asian knows in her mind that y'all wouldn't be here at Future Studio. Not that y'all care. Because one thing I know about the Taylor girl and what I love about them. I'm going to potato. Is that they going to stick together as a team, as a sisterhood. And that's why I rate fucking Daisha, my nigga. Like, at one time, I was feeling a little way about Ty because I felt like she was growing up and she was, you know, not taking the Taylor girl's brand as serious ever since she started doing her skincare and, you know, bossing up on another level. And when I used to watch their videos, Daisha would come on and be like, what's good? And what's that? You know, all the shit she know her fans love. And Ty would just be sitting there like, don't even want to do the intro no more. So for a minute, I was just like, what the fuck is wrong with Ty? But when she came out and she was just basically like, you know, she going, she's young. She's changing. She's getting more money. She's, Ty changed her whole style, everything about her. She's beautiful as fuck. Like, she got a lot more that she's focusing on. Like, a lot of us miss her comedy, her just being goofy, her funny self. But she's evolving, you know? And I just thought, like, I had to just respect it. Like, you know what I'm saying? And what I love, I just, I just respect Daisha because Daisha understands that about her sister. And she let her be free. She let her go be friendly with everybody, get lit on the gram. But because she know at the end of the day, sis, one of them bitches hurts you, one of them niggas hurts you. A fan hurts you. You coming right here. Back to me. And Deja. She gonna always make sure they good. Even when Ty slip up and do little kitty shit. Deja is a real big sis. Like big sis for real. You feel me? Her already hold her that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So I really do rate her for that. So... Yeah, I rate her for that. And I feel where Ty coming from when Ty's like, you know, Asian doll should have told her how she felt. Da, 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 da. She right. Asian should have told her how she felt. But Asian probably ain't really, you know, know how to, how to say it. And I know Ty and them is like, oh, we just, everybody was playing their music. He told me to play it. Da, 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 da. And you're right. As a friend, Asian doll was supposed to be happy you playing your music. Just as much as you was happy she was playing her music. But let me tell you, I used to do music. That's how I even started doing Unsigned Critic. To be able to go over people, um, artists' music and stuff. Because, you know, I never made it in the music industry. All right? But, I know what it is to be in a, a studio with celebrities. And you with a friend. And one friend is, y'all both trying to do the same shit. And trying to, you know what I'm saying? It's just a lot. As females, it's sad. It's really sad. And you see how tired and them is like, oh, we played our music and then we left. She's looking at it like, oh, we was thirsty, we would have stuck around, da, da, da. But Asian is looking at it like, bitch, if you was a real boss ass bitch that like to work, that's what Asian means when she's saying, oh, I put in work for this, you ain't putting it in like I do. Asian dogs, fucking independent ground hustle. It's a lot different from Taylor Girls Hustle. Just to let y'all know. Asian dog get it out the mud when it comes to this hustling shit. I'm talking, can you imagine club hosting, club hosting, club hosting? Yes, y'all both on the same level. Yes, y'all both never had a hit song. But this girl is out in the clubs, in the trenches, getting booked every night, studio next day, like, moving like a nigga in these streets. Like, moving like a whole nigga. If you follow Asian from day one, you will know why she at where she at now. She, she's consistent. Tell the girls. Yes, y'all grind. Y'all y'all YouTube shit. Y'all music. Y'all got a couple hits or whatever. Y'all grind too. But y'all grind differently. Differently. So when Asian dog come out and she telling y'all, oh, you ain't putting in the work for this, da, da, da. She don't mean like, I don't think she mean like, oh, they ain't putting in the work. She basically mean like, bitch, when is y'all in the studio at two in the morning with a with an artist in the studio? Y'all don't do that. That's regular shit for Asian to be moving around so much that she run into people that she end up in the studio with them. Y'all be in the studio in y'all basement in y'all crib. 
Y'all not in the street hustling. I just started seeing Ty and them going to advanced industry shit, trying to be more industry. Keep it a hundred. You y'all just started trying to be more industry. So I felt like when when Asia said that, that's how she meant. She didn't mean like y'all hoes is wag. Y'all not in it. Y'all bitches is driving Rolls Royces and throwing parties that cost 150k. I told y'all had the best time at Ty party. And I spent zero dollars, my nigga. Zero. You think Asian ain't see that? Niggas know y'all. Niggas know y'all tell the girls it's like nothing to be fucked with. Y'all gonna get a bag. Like, come on. Asian knows that. I feel like she just really felt like if you hanging out with her, it's definitely gonna put you in different spaces because Asian is on the go. 24. Let me tell y'all. Asian on the go so much. If y'all follow my channel, y'all know I'm Jamaican. Jamaican and American. Best of both words combined. All right, no, my favorite, favorite Jamaican artist are the girl Jada Blood Clot Kingdom. Jada Kingdom. Someone I said, Shensi had the vibes, all this shit. She got a song on Kanye shit. Jada Kingdom, that's the bitch. You feel me? And who Asian doll and Jada Kingdom are good, 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 good friend. Y'all understand? And that's why when I see Asian and Ty and them get close, I'm like, yo, I fucks with them. Because these my type of bitches. Like, I always loved Asian doll, always loved Jada Kingdom. And now I see them like buddy, 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 buddy. I'm just like, oh, nah. So when I see Ty and Asian fall out, I'm just like, no, I did not want them to fall out. Because they would have been a great, great duo. Just girl, you know how we see eight, um... What's her name? Ari Fletcher, Jada Chives, Dream Doll, all of them. They be in the club very often together, turning up, getting bags together. Like, I was happy for Ty and Asian because I felt like Asian needed a friend like Ty. And Ty, she, Ty didn't really need a friend like Asian, but for the new image and the new vibe that Ty is trying to come with, she would have did good with a friend like Asian. You know what I'm saying? But like Daisha said, she going to keep her sister to her because at the end of the day, it's just too much drama. And like I said, when you have a friend that's trying to do the same exact thing that you're doing and y'all both some two badass bitches trying to be in a room with certain type of niggas, it's not going to work. It's sad, but it's not going to work, period. And I feel like Asian spoke to Kayla Nicole before she made that comment. Even though I feel like even if Asian felt like, oh, this bitch came and played her music, da 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 she would have never went and said it to strangers, fans. This bitch was on Twitter when she said it. If you know Asian, though, she don't give a fuck about none of that shit. She would have never said it on Twitter like that with her fans unless she already felt vibey. Like, it gotta be. One thing when it come on bitches, unless a bitch fuck your nigga, say fuck you or try to do some shit to you, you gonna pray if a bitch fuck with you or for little things. So, for Asian to be vocal on the phone talking about how she felt to strangers, fans, it, it was more than one. It wasn't that one situation that made Asian want to be that vocal. I'm telling you, this girl Asian... Bought Ty fucking shit for her birthday. Like, what? Who does that? Well, other bitches ain't get her shit. You feel me? So I feel like she spoke to Kayla Nicole before that. Yes, probably while the whole beef was going on with Kayla and Ty on social media. I feel like Kayla spoke to Asian on the side. Said some things to Asian. To have Asian like, what? Bitches blocking like that? But Asian is start putting everything together and just be like, you know what? I'm going to just distance myself from that whole situation. Because when she went viral and said that shit on wax, I'm saying wax. <laughs> I said wax like Asian made a whole diss record. But when she said it on the internet, it's like, you must have knew that you and Ty. That's it? I should have got some more butter. Mm -mm. You should have knew that you and Ty wasn't going to be friends. That I was supposed to make a video for my Insta story and I just started eating. Well, fuck it. Too late. But yeah, Dom's like, that's my take on the whole situation. I think Kayla Nicole 
that's my opinion is the whole is the reason for this whole shit i love the taylor girls i love asian doll i'll continue to love them separately like i've been doing like i before i even knew they was friends i love both of them three all three of them i'll treat them y'all understand daisha you know i love daisha she's my favorite i love ty too like i love to see ty grow i love ty her style like that song act right y'all i'm about to the premiere for act right is tonight at 12 o'clock and i'm doing our premiere i'm gonna review the video i was hoping it was a video but i have a feeling it's just an audio i'm gonna review the song with you guys on my on my channel um uh, for unsigned critic y'all know i review music on that segment and I know, I'm going to leave a clip right here, y'all. When I was at the party and I was performing, I was um videoing Ty perform, act right. Y'all going to hear me in the video. I told Ty. I said, Ty, you got, I basically, what I said? I said, I said, I said, I said, that's it. I basically was like, that's a hit. I said, oh my God, I was so happy for them. Because I'm a music head, a hip hop head, a dance hall, reggae head, all that. I'm in the crowd video and I'm like, yes, Ty, that's a hit. I'm like, Ty, you got one. Y'all got Taylor Girls got one. I already knew. But she was like, first of all, the Ty verse, they should, we, we gonna get into that in another video. Unsigned credit, y'all stay tuned. That should be up tomorrow sometime because it comes out tonight at 12. So I might do the review tonight. Or, ooh. Mm. I might, I might do the video tonight. If not, I'm going to do it in the morning. But it will be up by tomorrow. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned. Y'all subscribe. Y'all tell a friend. And can y'all follow me on Instagram? At Diamond the Slayer. I'm trying to get my followers up. Please hit the subscribe button, y'all. Subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get monetized. You know, we out here. We working hard. Us ladies we need to stick together. I want I don't want I want this drama to end here. I don't want nobody trying to fight nobody. Ooh, I ain't drink nothing the whole time. None of that. Y'all know Daisha pregnant. Shout out to her. We don't need that. We don't need y'all just stay away from each other because I feel like y'all should. Like, because of the simple fact that y'all try. It ain't gonna work. I feel like y'all know who I think caused this whole shit. That's my opinion. Period. I feel like Asian spoke to Kayla. Kayla Ben was on some hate and shit since the party. Since before the party, she should have never got back cool. Now I see the girl posting like she took Taylor girls off her bundles. Like, bitch, what? Bitch, what? That's why I'm so happy. Do y'all see how God works? That's why you gotta stay prayed up. Oh, as soon as all this shit happened, Taylor Girl's about to drop a hit record for y'all. Y'all been waiting for them to drop a song like this in a long ass time. And now look, you took them off the Taylor Girl. You took them off your song that they claim they didn't get no money for anyway. Now they about to get their own bag and dependent. Shout out to me. Subscribe to my channel. Tell a friend, tell a friend. There's a lot of fun things going on this channel. Check it out. Check out the videos. Check out how I met Asian Doll at the party. All that. Follow me on Instagram at Domino Slayer. Fuck with your girl. Tomorrow I'll be doing Unsigned Critic for the Taylor Girls. Act, act right. Yes. So. Later, guys. <laughs>